A lot of uncertainty tonight within Colorado's oil and gas industry. The state legislature passed that law overhauling how the industry is regulated. Political specialist Sean Boyd is live from a drilling site in Broomfield with a look at what the future of drilling will look like. Sean, the law prioritizes health and safety. Yeah, and Britt, that means if operators want to continue to do business in Colorado, they'll need to spend more money on mitigation. This site an example of what that will entail. Extraction oil and gas company is leading the way when it comes to mitigating the impacts of oil and gas. One of the best things about what people are hearing right now, if they're watching, is that they're not hearing much of anything at all. Just a few feet from a massive oil rig, you can hear, see, and smell how Extraction Oil and Gas Company is setting the bar in a new era of drilling in Colorado. We have to really bring it. As oil and gas companies, we have to step up. Brian Kane with Extraction says as a Colorado-only operator, his company has the most at stake. Long before the new law, he says they were prioritizing health and safety. And we've redeveloped this area with all new technology. The company was one of the first, he says, to switch from diesel power to electric. It's a step change for our industry. It runs basically like a Tesla. Eliminating the smell and noise associated with diesel generators, but the company didn't stop there. It erected sound walls and a berm around the site and began using a special synthetic drilling mud to eliminate the odor of oil and gas. Part of what we wanted to do was make our operations as low impact as possible. Which is why he says the company does extensive air monitoring and water testing. Here in Broomfield, we actually agreed uh, to water testing that is above and beyond the law. And they signed a contract with Broomfield to do 24-7 air monitoring, measuring 50 to 60 chemicals at a time. As part of our operator agreement, we give money to the city and county of Broomfield and let them do their own air monitoring. And that way, we're maximizing the credibility. They have a, an independent third-party air consulting firm that is actually conducting it. Everything we've seen is well below any levels of concern, well below. So we're very excited about that. We think that that's a game changer for Colorado. It's important to be adaptable, and uh, that's what you have to be in the, in the, in the new world. Now, even with all the best practices that extraction has in place, Broomfield City Councilwoman Gailleen Castriata told me they still get plenty of complaints about odor, construction noise, health concerns. For her, like many opponents of oil and gas, no level of mitigation is enough. Her goal is to ban drilling in residential areas. But the director of the state commission charged with implementing the new oil and gas law told me his goal is to mitigate the impacts to the extent possible while still allowing for drilling. Bottom line, this law is all but certain to end up in court. The only question is whether operators or environmentalists will be the first to sue. Live in Broomfield, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean. We'll see where it goes.